to the blunt pundit where I speak my mind and you can say yours. You can hate me, but don't hate football. Let's get right into it. Arsenal finally got a win. You see, prayer and fasting works. I told you, now our season starts. You see, in this life, some people win by hook or crook, or some people just have King Salah. About you. Do you know what, yeah? Some people said you're a one season wonder, but you're shutting them up. Chelsea. Chelsea are silently winning games under a former banker. Yes, sorry, he was a banker in case you don't know. And that Alonso, that guy, he's supposed to be a left back, but he's just been scoring goals. Man City. Man City were thrown into a den of wolves and the wolves cheated their way to a draw. That goal they scored was a blatant handball. That's even worse than the hand of God. I don't know if the referee or the linesman were scared of the wolves, but guys, that calls for VAR. The main highlight of the weekend, Tottenham beat Manchester United 3-0. Do you know what 3-0 means? You'll find out in a bit. But the truth about the matter is there's a saying that says, do not judge a book by its cover. The scoreline wasn't a perfect reflection of the game. But the truth is in life, no one cares. All what people care about is the end game. Having said that, the main event was Mourinho versus the media. You know what I was saying this last week? Those media are big vultures. They've come again to scavenge on this man. Shame on you, media. Shame on you. You guys have not even finished with the man last week. You've come again, you start pouncing on the man. Leave this man alone for crying out loud, people. Leave this man alone. He's had enough. To be honest, I'm beginning to feel sorry for him. I'm not a Mourinho fan, but I have to say the truth. Lay off this man for crying out loud. The team played quite well, I'm not going to lie to you. They played really good attacking football. They were very bad defensively, but it's just unfortunate. I think it was written that that game was for Tottenham. There was nothing you could do about it. When I was ranting during the press conference, only one man came into my head. This guy. Do you know why? I want you guys to watch this and tell me the difference. Look, I've been accused of not taking seriously the FA Cup on Saturday. I won four times the FA Cup. Who has won it more? Give me one name. I haven't accused you of not taking okay. it seriously. I'm just self what was the result? 3-0. 3-0. Do you know what this means? 3-0. But also mean three premierships and I won more premierships alone than the other 19 managers together. I think I worked for 16 years here in England and I deserve a bit more credit than wrong informations, but I have only one intention is to harm. Respect, 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 man, respect, respect, respect. You see, the media has a way of handling people and trust me, it happens to the best of us. It's actually happened to me as well. Check this out. Igalo, two, two chances, Igalo, two. One second. Oh my god. I feel so embarrassed now, but you know what? That's life. It happens to us. So, Mario, you are not alone. I'm here with you. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure you like, share, and subscribe, please. Thank you very much, guys, for watching once again. Like I always say, lovers will be lovers, haters will be haters. If you love me, I love the idea. If you hate me, well, life is too short for hatred. Take care, guys, and be safe.